You know, there is one thing that, I mean, just because of the things that I post and, and everything, I, I just get a feed on it on Twitter or X, however you want to call it. Uh, and, and, and that is a lot of opinions, a lot of discourse, a lot of conversations about many different things. One of them is, is the MCU saved or is it not saved? Are they finally listening to the fans? Are they not listening to the fans? Yada, 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 yada. And at the end of the day, I just think like sometimes they make a good thing. Sometimes they make bad things. But the one thing that I just, I haven't been able to like really grasp is the hate towards Mark Hamill, Hamill, whatever his name is, Mark Hamill, the, the guy that played Luke Skywalker. So it's very common in 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 the sphere of youtube especially their right wing leaning youtube sphere uh to sh throw a lot of hate towards mark hamill because of his political stance you you see it all the time just throw it insults uh to the point that even like getting getting very like deep with his personal life uh, because um I believe he he advocated or something like I'm not in, like I'm I because I couldn't care less about the situation I'm I don't know much about it but the po the point is that something happened with his granddaughter and he was like I think advocating for an abortion or something like that and a lot of people do like like hammer him down about it like getting like super mean and nasty and it all comes because they're like, you were supposed to like destroy the Sith, not join them. You were supposed to be the light of reason. You were supposed to be this, you were supposed to be that. And a lot of people um, have a, a lot of hate towards Mark Hamill because he's not acting like Luke Skywalker would. Because he's not, uh, he's not, he's not embracing his, his true self. And that's where I, that's what I don't get. That's where I'm like, are, are, are you, re, are you retarded? Like, what the fuck? Like, I just, I, I never get that, that type of hate towards actors. Like, I get the hate towards Kathleen Kennedy because her actions are actually palpable. But I don't get the, the, the hate towards actors that are not acting the way the characters in their movies. Like, I'm sorry to say this, but Mark Hamill is not Luke Skywalker, <laughs> you know? That's the thing, like, Mark Hamill is not Luke Skywalker. He's never been Luke Skywalker because Luke Skywalker does, doesn't exist. Like, I get that a lot of people are mad at him because he, he has, like different political views and he's very spoke he, he's very outspoken about his political views and i get that a lot of people would disagree with his political views what i don't get is the people that get mad at him for having those political views because they want him to have different political views you know like there's plenty of people with like very very shitty takes very different stances on politics, religion, what have you. And people don't get mad at them because they're like, oh, he's one of the bunch, you know? But I think that Mark Hamill is like a special case because I think that a lot of people do like shit on him because they had the expectation that he he was Luke Skywalker <laughs> and he 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 needed to act differently. I saw that uh, like uh, around the, the time of the Last Jedi when Mark Hamill came out, and and he was very like disagreeing with what they were doing with his character of Luke Skywalker in the Last Jedi. I bel I, I remember that everyone was like, "Yes, Mark Hamill is one of us. Like he he's defending. Like you know." So yes, at that point, Mark Hamill's opinion coincided with a lot of people's opinions and that's why they were like yes he's one of us but then he started to be like very outspoken about his political stances and like stances on everything and it happened to be not the the stance that a lot of people that agreed initially with him on his the last jedi take uh, uh you know 
conveyed, meaning that, yes, at, at some point in time, Mark Hamill's opinions was the same as other people's. And then he started voicing his opinion on different stuff. And it wasn't the opinion of the other people he th th that initially agreed with him. And I think that caused like a major disappointment because people were like, what, what the fuck? You've changed, man. You've changed. Like you've, you've become, you've become part of the problem. Like you, you're just now kissing Disney's ass and you're now just kissing Biden's ass and you're just like a nasty rep, uh, Democrat and leftist and shit. And I'm just like, so <laughs> like if the guy is like that like th l let me just like let me just destroy your little thought bubble but people will coincide with you on certain opinions and you will deviate a lot on other opinions for example like uh, my cousin and i agree <laughs> like firmly agree that one of the best foods in the world or tacos but we completely disagree on the fact that one of the best beverages is either coke or horchata and we have like that fighting argument that oh no the best one is coke no the best one is horchata so uh, but just because we disagree on something like that it's like okay well whatever you know that's just life you disagree and agree with people at random times in your life period it goes like that and again if you're mad at Mark Hamill because of his shitty takes on politics, according to you, just let it be because he has those shitty takes and not because you believed or you had the expectation that he was a fictional character and he needed to embody that character. It's like, you know, expecting every single character like Tom Hanks to embody like... um the 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 castaway or to or to expect tom hanks to be like you know mentally challenged like forrest gump or or something like that it's like why are you not being the character that you play and i do think that a lot of people were hoping for mark hamill to be on their side because that would mean that luke skywalker's image would be kind of like sanctified to them meaning like oh the actor is is the role and that's why it's so perfect and nice and good and i'm just like do you understand like he's just playing that person like he got paid to play that person like he's just an actor the actor the person is not the character so uh again the reason why i'm ranting about this is because i've seen a lot of people get like super nasty against them and i think that's so retarded <laughs> <laughs> because he's just like he's clearly like very left winning um left leaning and um and and he's outspoken about his views as well as a lot of fucking people out in the internet but they go against them and the the comment that i see the most is like you're not Luke Skywalker. You're not like you, you were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bitch, he's not Luke Skywalker. He's just an actor, <laughs> you know, and he has his views as well as you have your views. So but but no one is expecting you to change your views because you're your own person. Like even if you it, it, I, I've I've met plenty of actors in my life that have different opinions and it's like completely different from the character that they play but i just don't get it like i get disagreeing with political views and religious views and everything i just don't get why people would get absolutely mad at someone for not being their fictional character they represent <laughs> or, or they that they played you know that's it <laughs> I just think it's freaking stupid. Like, I really do think it's very stupid to blame actors for not being the character that you hold dear in your heart. Like, the character hasn't changed. You, you have the DVD, the Blu-ray, the VHS. Like, just watch it. Like, trust me. 
like every single character that you've seen on a movie, the person behind it is nothing like that character that they that they play. They're just actors. If you want to judge them, judge them for their takes as a person without any sort of involvement of the character that they play. You know what I mean? That's it.